Hi everyone, so this time I'll be showing you how to flush the coolant and replace it in a 7M GTE engine. So in my last video, which I posted a few weeks ago, the head of Toyota Soros NZ got in touch and told me that I filled, well topped up the radiator with the wrong colour coolant. I put it in green when it should have been red, apparently that causes the coolant to gunk up and possibly kill the engine and destroy gaskets. So this time I'll have to completely flush out the 7M GTE's coolant and replace it with fresh red coolant. Now we're here at a secret location where the car is kept and today we'll look under the bonnet at refilling and replacing the radiator coolant. So first things we want to do is to undo the radiator cap over here. Oh, it's actually not too empty and then according to the user manual we'll look at the drain plug at the rear of the engine here it should be hidden behind the turbo but there's a heat shield on the exhaust manifold and a heat shield on the turbo and I don't think I'll be undoing any of those so instead of that we'll go to the back of the engine here straight to the heater hoses and fill it up through one of those, presumably this long hose going to the firewall. And down here we have the reservoir bottle. I just plan on removing the hose where it connects to the bottle rather than onto the radiator cap itself. Now I'll get under the car and undo this petcock at the bottom of the radiator here. Now this is how you drain the coolant out of the radiator and fill the engine with a 50-50 mix of this concentrated long life red coolant and distilled water. Now the radiator has been drained, the engine block has been flushed with water and you can see the new coolant is coming out through the pet cock at the bottom right now. The next step is to clamp up the heater hose at the back of the engine and start filling it from the radiator. Here we've got the bottles, you can see it's taken an adequate amount. The next step is to run the engine with the heater on max and wait for this to bubble and drop. And then we'll fill it up again with the remaining fluid. All it needs now is the radiator to be bled. You can see here, I filled up top, it's bubbled a couple times and let's check the dashboard temperatures while we're here. Looking very good right in the middle of the gauge below, so that's a good sign. Also, I haven't jacked up the car, but this is about level here. You can see my camera's lined up with the garage, so the radiator is the highest point of the car. I'm going to top it up now, so thanks for watching, goodbye.